This will officially be my last day on the open water. I'm gonna go chase some pike. On the way here, we had a bunch of ponds that were right frozen, tossed a rock on, didn't fall through. They were shallow ponds, nonetheless, but uh, it won't be long and we will have some ice. I'm gonna start gearing up for that. Today, I got a little package from Fred Bowen of the Muskie Boys here. I sent him some glide wraps from uh, Rapala here and he's going to custom paint them. So we are opening them up right here. Let's see what we got. Oh baby, this is crazy. Look at this. Custom paint jobs by Fred. I'll link everything here below. Pumpkin head, love it. Oh, black perch. I don't know what to use. I'm going to slap some hooks on. Oh, and the old Wonder Bread, black head, love it. I'm going to catch some pike on one or two of these today for sure, as well as hopefully on some savage stuff. Maybe the burbot, maybe some line throughs, maybe even my favorite glide baits. So let's get the boat in the water. Let's see if we can hammer up a few pike last day. Wish me luck. There we go. <laughs> Took a couple casts, as in about 15 casts, but I did hook into my first pike of the day, little guy. But Fred, your paint job works. There we go. Little guy, start the day off here. Bam, first fish. Always a good feeling to get the first fish over with. Okay, switching up lures to something that's a little bit easier to use in this cold weather. Just a line through, straight retrieve. But we're hoping to maybe get some underwater footage in the process. We got the water wolf camera attached here. So we'll try a little bit with it. it might be a little bit too heavy to cast, but we are gonna try for a bit and see what happens. A strike I had a strike on the line through I wonder what's gonna show up on the camera I let that sink a little bit this time Try that again, but I'm interested to see what's going to show up on the camera. I didn't land anything or hook in anything, but that was definitely a strike from a fish, so. Oh, that was unreal. <laughs> he just came up and munched it. I don't know what to say. That wasn't a small fish. That was pretty big. Oh, that was so cool. Oh, baby. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I watched from here. I could see the mouth open and grab it. And I'm just like, oh, I just paused for a second. And then when it turned, I, I set the hook, but it didn't hook up, but that's okay. There we go, there we go, again, again. Oh. That's three strikes on the line through. I wonder if I should go to a moderate sink. 
get it down a bit further. Okay, I don't have a moderate sink in the yellow perch pattern, but I do in the rainbow trout, which should work just as fine here. It was a fish, for sure it was a fish. Okay, I gotta change something up. I got a couple strikes with the underwater camera. That was the main goal. If I hook up on it or not, it isn't gonna matter. These fish are deeper. I gotta get down to them somehow. Ah, uh, how am I gonna do this? I actually have a bass bait with me, XD10, but it allows me to crank it really slow and it gets down deep, deep, deep. So we're gonna try to grind these, to grind the bottom here. I can work this real slow and it gets down really deep. There we go. Yes. <laughs> I knew this crankbait would work. Oh yes. It feels good too. Oh, come on boat, turn. Now is not the time. Yes, feels like a good fish. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> as soon as that bait started to get down a bit, this pike crushed it. Oh, it's a good pike, not a giant. Good fish though, good fish. Hopefully they get bigger today. They are strong. Man, did she crush that thing. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. There we go. Crankbait worked. Beautiful. She gone. Awesome. XD10 crankbait, bass bait, works for pike too apparently. That was sick. I used that crankbait for a little bit. I did manage to find uh, in my stuff a moderate sink uh, yellow perch. It's a little bit beat up in the nose, but we're gonna try it anyway. Just had a little guy fall though. Yes, I might have figured out where they are. It's that little follow. And then this fish, another medium sized fish. Oh yes, on the line through one of my favorite. Come here, girl. <laughs> we're we're going to land you on the other side here though. This is one of my favorite pike baits, which I'll talk more about after this video or after this fish, we'll see him. Okay, I'm gonna ham ram this fish. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Get my glove off. Somebody on one of my channels too, or one of my videos, they asked me how to hold a pike properly. I'm gonna try to give a quick demonstration here. So it's like a 35 inch pike. We're gonna ham land him, don't need a net. Okay. You can grab a pike successfully on the top like that. Don't squeeze too hard. But if you are going to pick up a fish like this in the gills, right here, underneath, get your, almost your whole hand, sometimes three fingers. Your whole hand can go in there though. You're not touching the pink part. You're just going the white part. But your thumb plays a key factor. Plus your thumb up against your index finger and hold on right there. That also allows you easy access to open the mouth and get the hook out. There we go. Hook out. Okay, she was hooked in the gill a little bit. I'm gonna get her back in really fast. There she is, nice fish. I'm gonna give 
a short talk why I love this bait so much. 3D line through trout made by a Savage Gear. They have a 4D one coming out there next year. I don't have any of those yet. This hook is my most used pike lure up north. Eight inches, slow sink, and moderate sink. This is a moderate sink. They come in a bunch of different colors. I like the dark trout, the light trout, the perch, the albino. There's a bunch of different ones. This right here is why this bait is so key. Single treble hook. I have it hooked in the bottom right now just because I'm fishing a little bit deeper water and the fish are coming straight up at it instead of behind it. When they bite this bait, the hook goes in the corner of their mouth usually and the bait clips away from the hook. That right there is why your uh, your percentage of landing your fish is going to increase every time. This is what fish use as leverage to throw baits. When there's just a hook in the corner of their mouth, they have no leverage to throw that bait. You're going to land a lot of your fish this way. I have, I might have these fish starting to be figured out. I'm going to give away what I'm doing here on the depth finder too right away. <laughs> oh. It's all about fishing ledges in the fall. Ledges. It's a travel route for bait fish, which brings up these creatures of the night. Man, this doesn't feel like a slouch of a fish. Oh, it feels good. You have to really, really pay attention to your drag when it's icy. If the fish starts to go and there's no give, give them a little bit. Go with them. Here we go, big fish, big pike, yeah! Oh, this is awesome. Oh, that's a big fish. So much power. I just finished giving a little demonstration. Oh, that is a big pike. Just finished giving a little demonstration of uh, this line through trout, perch color, moderate sink. That's why I love this one so much. Mm, that is a thick fish. Fall time, they start to put the feed bag on. Oh, and they get so thick. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Tie her out. See, she's got a little bit of blood there on her gill. Cold water, though, will close those holes quickly. So I'm going to work with her as quick as I can here. Oh, that's a big fish. Big fish. Big pike. Big pike. Oh, yes. She wants, I can feel her pulsate. She wants to shake on me. I'm not going to let her. I'm not going to even measure this fish. <laughs> it's big. But because it's bleeding a little bit. Oh boy, I wanna get back in as quick as I can. Oh, look at this monster, yes! Big, thick, <laughs> big, thick mama! <laughs> oh baby, come on girl, we'll get you back. We'll get you back, we'll get you back. I never even had a chance to <laughs> hold on to her very much. Is she gone? Oh, 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 my heart is pumping, 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 pumping. This is something you want to look for right here on your lake that you know that has pike. This is the type of structure you want to look for. Okay, right here you can see. So I got 17 feet out here on the outside line, right? This is all the contours right here. Here's 13 feet on the inside line. This is what I'm fishing right now. I'm fishing the drop off. This area right here. I started my first stretch today up here fishing the shoreline. Nothing. I turned to focus on this little bit right in here. That's something that you want to look for on your body of water. Where I am, it doesn't matter at all. There's big pike all over the southern region in Saskatchewan, Manitoba. But go to a lake, fish that structure. Bait fish will cruise those drop-offs and those predators will feed on them all day long. Okay, we're gonna give these two baits away. Don't run away yet. All you have to do is comment below, leave a like, be subscribed to the channel. This is uh, an eight inch slow sink perch and an eight inch moderate sink light trout. 
I'm gonna pre-rig them with uh, 40 pound wire so they're ready to go. All you have to do is tie them on for next year for spring, summer, or fall. Some of my favorite baits made by Savage Gear. So like I said, comment, like, be subscribed to the channel. I'll pick a random winner. I'll deliver it right to your doorstep. Thanks for watching. See you on the ice.